A Brave and Startling Truth by Maya Angelou We, this people, on a small and lonely planet, travelling through casual space, past aloof stars across the way of indifferent suns, to a destination where all signs tell us it is possible and imperative that we learn a brave and startling truth. And when we come to it, to the day of peacemaking, when we release our fingers from fists of hostility and allow the pure air to cool our palms, when we come to it, when the curtain falls on the minstrel show of hate and faces suited with scorn are scrubbed clean, when battlefields and colosseum no longer reek our unique and particular sons and daughters, up with the bruised and bloody cross, to lie in identical plots and foreign soil, when the rapacious storming of the churches, the screaming racket in the temples have ceased, when the pennants are waving gaily, when the banners of the world tremble stoutly in the good clean breeze, when we come to it, when we let the rifles fall from our shoulders, and children dress their dolls in flags of truce, when landmines of death have been removed and the aged can walk into evenings of peace, when religious ritual is not perfumed by the incense of burning flesh, and childhood dreams are not kicked awake by nightmares of abuse. When we come to it, then we will confess that not the pyramids, with their stones set in mysterious perfection, nor the gardens of Babylon hanging as eternal beauty in our collective memory, nor the Grand Canyon kindled into delicious colour by western sunsets, nor the Danube flowing its blue soul into Europe, nor the sacred peak of Mount Fuji stretching to the rising sun, neither Father Amazon nor Mother Mississippi, who without favour nurture all creatures in the depths and on the shores. These are not the only wonders of the world. When we come to it, we, this people on this minuscule githless globe, who reach daily for the bomb, the blade and the dagger, yet who petition in the dark for tokens of peace. We, this people on the moat of matter, in whose mouths abide cankerous words, which challenge our very existence, yet out of those same mouths come songs of such exquisite sweetness that the heart falters in its labour and the body is quieted into awe. We, this people on this small and drifting planet, whose hands can strike with such abundant that in a twinkling life is sapped from the living, yet those same hands can touch with such healing, irresistible tenderness, that the haughty neck is happy to bow, and the proud back is glad to bend. Out of such chaos, of such contradiction, we learn that we are neither devils nor divines. When we come to it, we, this people on this wayward floating body, created on the earth of this earth, have the power to fashion for this earth, a climate where every man and every woman can live freely without sanctimonious piety, without crippling fear. When we come to it, we must confess that we are the possible, we are the miraculous, the true wonder of this world. That is when, and only when, we come to it.